Shalom and blessings to all. We're praising Him today here from Brownwood, Texas, in the heart of Texas. Hallelujah, because He is great here. He's mighty, and we praise Him for all that He is, for who He is. He's great. He's glorious, and we shout this shout to Him today because He is worthy. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He's worthy of all praise. Hallelujah. Praise His wonderful name. Hallelujah. Uh, evangelist Ruben Diaz is coming today with the precious holy word. So receive today. Let it bless you. Let Him bless you because He's standing there by you right now wanting to bless you because He loves you. And we love you and we're sending this word out to you today. Amen. 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 Thank you, Apostle Homer Petty. Um, I'm extending my, uh, my, well, I'm learning more, so I'm going to start speaking a little bit more about, Amen. about things. Is that squeaky? Okay. Um, so, this week, I've been learning about, and I'm, I'm learning the Hebrew stuff. And uh, let me say something about Hebrew stuff. You, when you start learning about Hebrew, just a little bit of it, it gives you a whole certain knowledge of what, what God's telling us. And uh, this right here is, uh, is Anna, which is, which is humble. And it's, uh, the letters are Ayan, Noon, and Hey. And I was, I was listening to it all, because I want to know really what humble means. And uh, so... Humble means that iron means to see or hold, and the noon it means a servant. Oh, am I in front of it again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay I'm, this is my first time doing the study, so. Well, okay. Yes, thank y'all. Okay. There you go. All right. So Anna is the word humble, and of course Hebrews from right to left. Okay. All right. Uh, iron is a uh, is uh, this is the first letter. Says iron. And this is the noon, and this is the hay. Ayan is to see or hold, and noon is a servant. And uh, if I got this right, see, it's head form of a man and, and, and it is, that's bent over. And I'll show you here in a second. And then hay, which is a spirit or wind or, you know, or breeze, the breath of God. And the reason I'm showing you all this to help, to help me understand more about being humbled is that this right here is, is the servant. And that's what we are, right? If we're, we're children of God, we're servants. And um, and actually, if I can show you right here, it's supposed to be like a man's head. This is a servant, a man's head standing straight up. But when you humble yourself, you're bending over. And that's why this is like that. You're bending over. And this too, this is, here's the spirit. But you're bending over and you're humbling yourself to the spirit. And uh, so when you do that, you humble yourself to who? To the Father, to the Holy Spirit. And which will, will lead you and direct you in, in uh and, uh, and show you all things, right? It's all about, when you start learning Hebrew, God will show you more than what you know. And, and that's, what, that's what I'm starting to learn. That's what I love about you know, in Hebrew. So humble yourself by, by submitting to the Spirit. This is what it's about. It's about submitting to the Spirit. Okay, since I'm doing something new, i got to keep it all together. Um, and then there's the... Uh, Oh, that's what I was going to get to is uh, when you humble yourself, what are you doing to you humble yourself? When John 3, 30, it talks about where John will say, I must decrease so he can increase. Amen. And that's what it's all about, is pushing yourself out of the way and letting the Holy Amen. Spirit move. Amen. You know, in Matthew 26, 6, 16, it says, uh, if this fits with, it says, the last will be first and the first will be last. Amen. And, uh, oh yeah, so that the Holy Spirit can teach us, right? Submitting to the Holy Spirit. And bound down to the Holy Spirit. In Psalms 140, 10, 143.10 says, Teach me to do your will, for you are my Yah. God, let your good spirit lead me on level ground. Amen. In Romans 8.14 says, For all who are being led by the Spirit of Yah, these are the sons and daughters of Yah. Yes, Humble ourselves to Amen. the Spirit. And uh so it, it gave me a whole new different meaning whenever I say, whenever I say in the mornings I want to humble myself. I said, well, I'm now I'm I'm bending down and humbling to the Spirit, and, and, and you know, and confess the Spirit. I'm submitting to you, submitting to the Father, so that you will lead and I will follow. And then the other word I'm going to talk about is a uh, sorry, hold on. It's 
is the word uh, blessed, which in Hebrew is burak. Burak. And uh, there's more to this, but this was too much for me to, to even throw out there. So I'm going to just explain the other stuff because I'm just learning this. So the burak is, uh, is, is blessed. And, uh, and what it means, uh, it means to, uh, means to kneel. Um, it also means to, uh, and it, it's almost as if you're humbling yourself, but it means to kneel and, and to, uh, and uh, really what it means, blessed means is the open hand of authority is filled with the family within. If, uh, and it also means the, the it talks about, uh, uh, Moses, you know, back in the wilderness, there wasn't so many much of a, a water there. So when they had water, uh, and when you gave it to a, another person, well, you was actually blessing them because you was giving them water, you know, getting, I don't know, they say, like, giving water from your hands and handing it out. Well, that's a blessing, right? In a dry desert land, somebody gives you water? Well, that's a blessing. And, that, and that's what it represents, you know, filling up your palm and, and giving them water. And that's what we are to do, right? We bless. We kneel down and we bless. And another, they say here also it says to touch with an open hand. That when you kneel, you touch them with the open hand of love, and you uh, and you give them what their heart desires, what the heart needs. That's another meaning of what the blessing is. To open the hand of authority is filled with the family within. Did y'all get that? That makes sense. <laughs> All right, but like I said, the bless is to to kneel down with love, to bless them with whatever their heart needs, and you do it by action, by kneeling down, by showing your like like they say with the palms, and and you bless them. Yeah, you know, blessing also is that whenever they bless children or or, or you know uh, laying in hands, they they put your hands. You, that's what it means actually to put your hands on things, put your hands on them to bless them with your palms. Right, Homer. <laughs> so, I, yeah, it took me a while too, but you know I'm doing the best. So, anyways, and that's what. I, so uh, this week, I learned that this week, and I started practicing. You know, we're supposed to be not just hearers of the word, doers of the word. And I do believe that uh, as I uh, was humbling myself, that God gave me more of a revelation, and I was letting the Holy Spirit really actually work more in my life this week. And uh, so uh, today, uh, this is what I'm, I'm learning. And, uh, and uh, you know, I'm going to give you some uh, testimonies, too, that we know what I've done, that the Holy Spirit's done. I was just, I was just being humble and uh, letting the Holy Spirit lead. But uh, I'm not trying to be funny, but you know what Chicano U-turn is? <laughs> a Chicano U-turn. That's whenever he decides, a Chicano decides to turn around, just buses a U, right? Well, I did that a lot this week because when the Spirit was telling me to do something, well, I, I, I still kind of hesitate. I still, I'm still trying to make sure it's not me, you know, it's the Holy Spirit. But you know, the farther I drive, the more um, conviction the Holy Spirit puts on you to weigh you down, tells you to go back. So I do a Chicano U turn. <laughs> so I turn back around. <laughs> so as I turn back around, right, I was going to Coleman this past weekend and, um, and I, um, and the Spirit was telling me, stop at that store. So, but of course, I passed it. It was okay. Conviction hit me. Boom. I had to turn around. So, you kind of U-turn. So, when I got there, I, I just walked into the store. And I just said, okay, Spirit, here I am. And I was when I was in there, um, of course, you know, the customers that were there, there was one guy over here. We was all waiting in line. You know how people come up there and buy lottery tickets and just want to spend their whole check on lottery tickets, making decisions. Yeah. You know, so, anyway, that's the way it was. Really get a little frustrated, but I saw this guy was standing beside me, kind of built type of guy. And uh, I, at first, I believed that was him I needed to talk to, but a little frustration hit me because we was all waiting. You see the frustration on him, so I didn't want to interrupt or I didn't want to. But anyways, so as I'm walking outside, oh, he paid for his stuff, and I said, "All right, to here I'm gonna get him as soon as I pay for my stuff." But he took off so fast, I I, I didn't catch him. Um, but as I, when I went outside, I, I saw this other guy, and so I'm just ministering to him, right? I ministered to him. He told him, you know, he's going to San Antonio, and uh, I just ministered the Word of God to him. And uh, something told me, as I left, something told me, go back, right? So he had more friends with him. He said, all right, go back, because I felt the Spirit was telling me troubles, 
Right? So I went back and said, hey, listen, I, I just talked to your friend, but now there's someone here that needs some words. So I'm just telling you, listen, um, um, I just feel like Spirit's telling me to say, one of y'all here with trouble, which, you know, we all deal with troubles, but someone here is dealing with some troubles. I don't know who it is. So, you know, I prayed for them. You know, tell them about Jesus. Tell them that the Spirit is going to work in our lives, comfort us, teach us, you know, direct us, counsel us. And, uh, and I, I prayed for them to let them be. You know, they all shook my hands and they all loved it, you know. But, and then, uh, but this is how, when the Holy Spirit, uh, I advise you not to, when the Spirit really touches you to do something, do it. I still, sorry to say, still have a little hesitation about doing it. But uh, when the Holy Spirit wants you to talk to someone, I guess you could say like uh, Jonah, when he didn't want to go to Nineveh, Nineveh, and he went through all that trouble, he ended up still having to go back over there, still running from God, right? Um, a long detour. <laughs> <yeah. laughs> um, so I went to the courthouse. I went to the courthouse to get my birth certificate, and uh, when I said, "When the Holy Spirit wants you to talk to somebody, he, He's going to put them right back in your path." And guess what? He was there. What? Yeah, He was there, wow. and that's what's so amazing. That, that's so amazing that when God, yeah, and I'm sorry that I hesitated, but you know what? And He was there. <laughs> yeah, give you the chance. God, the second chances. Um, that you turn is the same thing as repenting, turning right back to Yahshua. Amen. I like that, Homer. It's a Jacana repentance. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but you know, um, so I ministered to him. And you know what? You know what? I've said this once before. You know when, when the Holy Spirit, when, when the Holy Spirit tells you to talk to somebody and it's really that person, um, he, he got teary eyes. You know, I asked him, you know, you got G Jesus in your heart, you know, and, yeah. you know, it, it, it's, it's, for some reason, I don't know, maybe he was the one with trouble, I don't know, you know, I said, I, I can't tell you what, what God wants me to tell you, I mean, I know he just wants me to just minister to you and let you know he loves you, and, uh, but he got teary eyes, uh, just, he just needed something, just needed love, the word of God is, and I'm telling you, the word of God is nothing but love. And encourages people and helps people. It lets people know that if they really are a Christian, right? And, and, and uh, we all need to be encouraged. I said that a couple weeks ago. We all need to be encouraged. We need to encourage one another. And maybe that's what he needed. Maybe for some reason, I, mean, I don't know, maybe for some reason that the, um, he's actually doing something, but he feels like it's for nothing. But, you know, for me, for the, for me, for the Spirit to tell me, tell me, you know, that God hears you, God's listening, God loves you, you know, he got teary eyed. And that's when I know, yeah, he was the one. The Holy Spirit needed to just talk to him. And now, you know, and what I'm trying to get to is that I humbled myself. And I went back and, uh, and, I, and I prayed with him, right? Humble and pray. That's what we're supposed to We're supposed to be servants. Servants bound down to the Spirit without the Chicano U-turns and just do what you're supposed to do, right? And... Uh, Oh, I didn't even stop there. I, I want to go to scripture, but I, you know, I, this was a great, a great week, right? And I, I'm not really boasting about myself. It's just um, this is the way I feel sometimes. I, I pray to God to you know do these interventions, to do these things, so that uh, I can have more to talk about, you know. Um, but they're they're testimonies. So, anyways, so as I'm leaving, I go down at the end of uh, downtown, and, uh, and there's two guys there. He's been working on this barbecue joint for over two years maybe he still ain't got it done last he told me he was going to get it done in for for a single a mile you know, it's done came and gone but when i was there i started ministering to him and i blew my show far last time i was there and he went he wanted me to blow it again he recorded me and took a picture but there was no, there was another guy who was there his name was greg and i started ministering to him right and this is what he sent me after i left uh he goes reuben this this is greg from the barbecue joint it was great seeing you this morning, and I have been asking God to speak to me, and I believe he did through you. I have been struggling with doing God's will and doing my own free will and trying to discern what is what. Please say a prayer for me to find out the truth. You know, thank you. Because I had been telling them what, you know, they, they started, we started talking, and the, the other guy was there, he goes, you're evangelist. I said, well, yeah, yeah, and I've been called evangelist. We've all been called evangelized. And this that guy, Greg, goes, man, I've been going through troubles. And I said, man, so I just ministered to him. And uh, when the Spirit speaks, I mean, it hits. You know, it just hits. Humble ourselves. 
and just in, in a in a and bless them right with the word of God, which is it really encourages people. So um, let me get back on track. But those are those are testimonies we you know that that uh, was going through this week. Um, don't worry when I, you see me start flipping papers around. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> oh, so anyway, this is what I wanted to get to. Um, in Matthew, you know, we we, we hear about uh, uh, Yeshua doing the same thing, right? Uh, in Matthew, I'm gonna go to Matthew eight fourteen to fifteen. He talks about. I just want to give you examples of, of humbling ourselves. Yeshua, you know, listen to the Spirit, listen to the Father, and that, like I said, whenever on the other word blessed. In Hebrew, it means to kneel down and uh, in the in the touch him with your hands, your palms. When uh, Matthew eight fourteen fifteen, okay, this is a uh, uh, Peter's mother in law. This is where Yeshua goes in there and goes. Uh, and verse fourteen goes, and when Yeshua had come to Peter's home, he saw his mother in law lying sick in bed with fever and he touched her touched her hand and the fever left her and she arose and waited on him so he he went he listened he listened to the father humbled himself touched her blessed her by by touching her and what he was healed he blessed with healing Amen. all right so in uh in matthew 8 uh one through four same same book he goes when he come down from the mountains great multitudes followed him and behold, a leper came to him. All right. He bowed down to him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. And what did Yeshua do? Because he stretched out his hands and touched him, saying, I am, I am willing. Be cleansed. And immediately the leper was cleansed. He touched, he touched him. Right? A leper. He touched him. He humbled himself. And he blessed him with what? Healing. Amen. Right? And uh, that, you know, I'm going to say it again. That's what we need to do. Those who are sons and daughters of God, humble ourselves, right? Yeah. And, 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 uh, and bless them. That's what we're supposed to do, right? In, in Matthew 9, 27, 31. It says, uh, but they went out and spread news about him in the land. Oh, I'm sorry, nine, uh, Matthew nine twenty seven. Because then Yeshua passed on from there. Two blind men followed him, crying out and saying, Have mercy on the son of David. And after he had come to the house, the blind men came up to him. And Yeshua said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? And they said to him, Yes, Lord. And he touched their eyes, saying, Be it done according to your faith. And one scripture says, Well, he got mud, right? So he had to bend down and get that mud. He humbled himself. And they got that mud and put it on their eyes. And what did he do? He blessed them with healing. Opened their eyes. You know, it reminds me of Luke 4.18. He goes, well, he goes, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. has anointed me to, uh, oh, no, to preach the good news. You know, I say this verse a lot. Sometimes I can't remember. Um, he goes, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recover the sight of the blind to set free those who are downtrodden to proclaim the favorable year of the Lord Amen. you know he, he opened their natural eyes but you know really he's talking about spiritual eyes and the bonus says that he'll heal us natural but you know he's really actually trying to open us up inside spiritual spiritually and uh, so he blessed them with healing and uh so those are the things that Yeshua did. That that he he uh, he humbled himself. Uh, you know, touching a leopard, he didn't care, right? The father told him to heal him. He only does what the father says, right? That's what he always said to the Book of John. So he humbled himself and he touched somebody that would that was supposed to be everybody. He was supposed to say what? How many cubits away? So ten or seven, something like cubits away. And uh, Yeshua humbled himself and touched him, blessed him with healing. We should do the same. Uh, I th this is what I'm learning because I'm telling you, just learning this, what it really means. I didn't really know that I was actually doing what it described to do. Bend down, submit to the Holy Spirit, you know. Um, 
in, in the, to uh, bless, when you bless somebody, you to kneel down. I was at Awesome's one day and I saw this gentleman walking. Uh, I was just going to give him a ride because it was starting to rain. And he said, nah, I'm okay. So I just started talking to him and I just noticed his shoes had, had, um, had they weren't you know, regular shoes. They had one for each toe. And, uh, and I said, those cool looking shoes. And he goes, well, actually I got a, a, some type of a disease, not a disease, but just something where his toes curl up. So they're designed to have a foot, you know, for each toe to keep them straight. I said, oh man, you know what? Um, can I just pray for you? And uh, he was telling me real quick that he was a, he found out he had some Jewish in him, you know. And I saw the Yodhe Vavi and this, and this tattooed on his hands. And he goes, you know? I said, well, yeah, 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 I know what it means. And he goes, oh man, there's not that many people really know. I said, yeah, uh, but you know, we just, oh yeah, I learned it. But, uh, but here's what I'm getting to, that I prayed for him and I anointed him. And I didn't know that I was doing what it says really to bless, to kneel. Because when I blessed him, I went down to his toes and I, and I, and I blessed his toes too, right? Heal him, right? I didn't know I was actually doing what it says to bless somebody. We just, all we know is bless, is bless, 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 you know? But to actually do it, do it the way that in Hebrew says, is to kneel down with open hands. Yeshua was blessed whenever the, uh, uh, in Luke 36, 38, when uh, that woman, when uh, Yeshua was with the, uh, let me find it. Was he with the Pharisee, or he was eating dinner in, in that in that? Uh... Okay, hold on. Before I start anymore, let me let me find it. Luke thirty six thirty eight. I'm sorry, seven. Luke seven thirty six thirty eight. He says now, okay, he was with, with the Pharisees. Was requesting him to dine with him. And he entered the Pharisee's house and reclined at the table. And behold, there was a woman in the city who was a sinner. And she, she learned that he was reclining at the table at the Pharisee's house. She brought alabaster vial of perfume. And standing behind him at his feet, weeping, she began to wet his feet with her tears and kept wiping them with her hair of her head and kissing his feet and anointed them with perfume. Now, wouldn't you say that she was actually uh, humbling herself? And kneeling down, yeah. blessing the Father and blessing Yeshua. You know, Yeshua said that, you know, it goes on that Simon, he said to Simon, he goes, you've done nothing for me since I walked in. They didn't kiss me, didn't anoint me, nothing. But she actually was anointing him, was, was, was kneeling down and blessing him because, uh, for like he says, for his, his burial, you know. And uh, she, she humbled herself and blessed him. Yeshua gets blessed too, right? We also bless him with by being a living, holy, living sacrifice, yeah. right? right. And, and all we can do is, is is be that sacrifice we're supposed to be, and humble ourselves. Um, in the rest, I can say is that Yeshua even humbled himself all the way to the cross, right? Remember how I said about the open hands that he was he in in the, about how everything I described, he humbled himself when he was going to whip him, right? And, and he blessed us by taking those whips to, to give us that blessing of healing. And then when he carried the cross for our sins, you know, he, he, he took all that. He humbled himself. And because you know what it says, right? He had, he had the authority to dispatch angels, thousands of angels. And, you know, but he did. He humbled himself because the Father told him this is what he had to do. He humbled himself. And, uh, and he all the way up to the cross. I mean, all the way to the cross. Remember I was talking about palms out, you know, to your palms he blessed you when she was there. And he, he blessed us all the way to the death, all the way to his cross with his palms out, blessing us. Amen. And no, no person could do that, only him. And he blessed us with eternal life, Amen. freed us from our sins, healed us from our sicknesses. He blessed us all the way, and to all the way up to the cross. You know? So, amen. And that's what I had for y'all today. I was really going to know oh, yeah. what, what it really means. Blessings in the... So I pray the Father blesses you today. You know, those that are listening and everything, um, humble ourselves, uh, deny ourselves, and humble ourselves to the Spirit. Amen. Um, and just listen to the Spirit. Let Him direct you, and He will direct you. Um, no check on your turns. Just go straight. Stop if you have to, safely. <laughs> okay? But you know what? I, I just want to pray that the Father blesses you today. 
You know what? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going because I've been saying this, and I'm talking about this. And I'm going to kneel down. You know, because I'm going to humble myself. I'm going to humble myself, and I'm going to pray a blessing over everybody here and those that are listening, Father. Father, I pray a blessing over everybody that's listening here, those that are here. Father, I pray that because Yeshua died on the cross for our sickness and disease and our sins, I pray that, Father, that you just heal those that are listening right now, Father. I pray that those things, that those people who think that their sins can't be forgiven, Father, I pray that the Spirit reveals to them that they are already forgiven. It's done. Just got to let it go and just, and just give it to Him. He's done took it. Father, I pray that you just be with us this week and just bless us. Bless us, comfort us, help us, teach us, and direct us. And all in the name of Yeshua. Amen. 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 Amen.